Buckle up. We have the wildest news for you today. Floyd Mayweather has finally broken his silence after he ate one of Tyson's nasty uppercuts and crashed down to the canvas in sparring. Yep, you heard that right. Iron Mike, the baddest man on the planet, just knocked out Money Mayweather, and we've got all the details for you. So we know Mike Tyson is making a return to the sport of boxing this November 15th. And his opponent, none other than the problem child Jake Paul, the knockout artist who's been racking up victories like Thanos hunting for infinity stones. This guy is on a roll, so Mike knew he needed the best training possible. And let's just say it doesn't get better than having Floyd Mayweather as your sparring partner. But things took a wild turn when one of the sessions got heated and Tyson ended up putting Floyd on the canvas. There's a lot to discuss with this one. So without further ado, let's take a deep dive into the action. The sparring session started pretty chill. Both fighters testing each other out, throwing some jabs and getting their timing right. But as the rounds went on, things got heated. Mike's punches were landing harder and faster and his peekaboo style was really putting Floyd in a tough spot. Meanwhile, Floyd was doing his thing, dodging and weaving like a pro. Then, out of nowhere, Tyson unleashed a beastly right hook that nailed Mayweather's jaw and sent him straight to the mat. Let's just say Tyson got him pretty good. But the question still stands. How did a friendly sparring session turn into a heated match, as if a championship belt was on the line? Well, Floyd Mayweather broke the silence on that. Floyd was pretty bruised up and had to be checked out by a doctor before he went to catch a plane to Dubai. I'm not having a plane. I just want to get a free time. Just the number. It makes it look like I did something for him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to say it. Here's where it gets juicy. Mayweather said the uppercut Tyson threw was intentional. Tyson wanted to KO Floyd, but why? Well, here's what Floyd said. Man, that uppercut was no accident. I knew Tyson had issues with me and my approach to the sport, but I didn't think he'd take it this far. Yeah, I know he's been critical of how I've handled things in boxing, but come on. I didn't think he'd actually try to take me out like that. It's just a sparring session, but he made it personal. Can't even respect that. If he really wants to throw it down, let's do it in front of the people. Be a real man. Floyd continued giving more details about his relationship with Tyson. I flew all the way from Dubai for this spar, and that's how they treat me? Mike's jealous because unlike him, I finished my career with a perfect record. He's jealous because I helped fighters finally get paid what they deserve. I took this sport to the next level. That's right. Mike hasn't always been a fan of Floyd. In fact, he once said that while Floyd's great at boxing, he's not necessarily great for boxing. And that's a fair point. Floyd's influence is a big reason why today's fighters are more focused on money than the sport itself. We're missing out on the fights we really want to see because everyone is now chasing the payday. And you can thank Floyd for that. School by himself. He's a little scared man. He's a very small, scared man. When it was announced that Floyd was stepping in to help Tyson prep for the Paul fight, skeptics were everywhere. But this is a legendary duo in the making. Two of the greatest ever teaming up. Anything could go down. Or anyone. Floyd Mayweather in this case. Well, I commend Tyson because he, he's one of the guys that paved the way for me to be where I'm at. You know, he's a legendary champion. And the only thing I have to say about Mike Tyson is everyone is always trying to judge Mike Tyson. He lived his life the way he wanted to live his life. No one can say how what they would have done if they were in his shoes. Um, boxing will live on. Although Mike Tyson hasn't always agreed with Floyd's approach to his boxing career, Mayweather looked up to Tyson growing up. So when the chance to train with him came up, Floyd jumped on it. How do you feel about Floyd, though? Huh? How do you feel about awesome Floyd? Awesome fighter, great fighter. You know, 
he he's a little too into himself. You know, he should be. I was the same way too. But you have to come to reality some way. You have to, you have to bring your head down to God. We, you know, we're nothing to be fucking arrogant. Well, you expect us to be ignorant and arrogant. Look where we came from. That's why I asked the question early about you mentoring fighters because I feel like I feel like Floyd looked at you growing up like every other fighter. And the persona and the lifestyle was like growing up in the hood. We looked at it like that's Mike Tyson. We see the cars, the jewelry, the the the, the flair. Like you was a you was a movie star. You was a you was a hero. I didn't see that. But once they stepped into the ring, all that respect went out the window. Tyson and Mayweather met up for a sparring session at Tyson's gym, which is usually just some light work to stay sharp. Not this time, according to insiders. Things got intense fast. With two of the most competitive fighters on the planet, you knew they weren't going to hold back. Both these fighters have huge egos, and both had a lot to show for it in the ring. This spar took the internet by storm. Sure, this wasn't a professional fight, but knocking out Floyd Mayweather in sparring is still insane. We're talking about a guy who's never been knocked down in his career. It's a huge deal and proves that Tyson, even at 58, still packs that incredible knockout power. Remember, this is the man who was once the youngest heavyweight champion in history, and he's still showing he's got it. Tyson's power is clearly still a force to be reckoned with. And if he brings that same intensity into the ring against Jake Paul, it could be lights out for the YouTuber. I mean, if Floyd couldn't hang with Tyson, then you can't even imagine what's going to happen to Jake Paul. That guy better start calling Disney already, because after Tyson's done with him, he's never stepping foot in the ring. I love my, I respect him, but we're not friends anymore. Until November 15th, I'm knocking this motherfucker out, and we're going to see who's dead. We will see who's dead. Mike, when you hear Jake Paul say, though, we're going to see who's dead, what does that do to you? Do, does that make you put yourself in the mindset of understanding that this young killer wants to take you out? Is he really a young killer? Yeah, you had to go on your little menopause break and postpone the fight, so yeah. Your tummy hurts still? I feel, I feel a lot better now. I covered all your fights in Atlantic City. Are we going to see the Atlantic City that you showed back in the 90s on November, November 15th. 15th? Hey, listen, as soon as I catch this guy, it's going to be totally over. So what's next for Floyd Mayweather? Known for his ego and pride, he's not letting this knockout slide. Even if it's just sparring, his unbeaten record means this stings. It wasn't surprising when Floyd called out Tyson for a match. He wants his gat back. Not to mention he's got the power and the influence to make it happen. After all, this is the guy who hired a ref mid-fight just because he didn't like the calls. A Floyd Mayweather vs. Mike Tyson showdown isn't just a wild fantasy. This one might actually see the light of day after all. After dominating John Gotti, Floyd wasted no time getting back to training, this time with Shakur Stevenson. You know those sessions are going to be next level intense. Floyd's back in the gym and there's got to be a reason behind it. If that reason is a fight with Mike Tyson, we're in for the fight of the century.
So that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned and we will catch you in the next video.